To draw a curved path in Photoshop, you need to left click and drag at the same time. This creates a control handle like you see here, with the anchor point in the centre. The curve won't appear until you create the next anchor point, again by left clicking or left clicking and dragging. This part of a control handle controls the next part of the curve. If I left click it's already curved. Dragging will increase the curvature. A good way to start using this tool is to train by drawing a circle using four anchor points with the first point at the 12 o'clock position and the remaining points at the 3, 6 and 9 o'clock position like this and always drag in the same direction. Finish off with a single click on the point you started at. Keep practicing those, it's a very good way of training with this tool. Here I've got a file, it's just a JPEG file with some basic shapes in it. These, these are also a good way of practicing, trying to trace around existing shapes. Here's the circle again and here are my four control handles. You can see these control handles are all the same length and they're either vertical or horizontal. Same applies to an ellipse, only this time we'll make this control handle a little shorter and this control handle a little longer. It's the length of a control handle that controls the amount of curvature in the curve. If you are a beginner then I recommend that you practice drawing circles and ellipses over and over again until you can get them to look like they look here. They're not perfect but they're good enough and this is what you should be aiming for if you're a beginner to get them to look like this. If you do it wrong just delete the path and start again. I'm going to do this one wrong. These are the kind of mistakes that can happen. The control handles are too long and you get these strange kinks in the curve. Just delete the curve with the uh, path select tool mark it, press the delete key, delete it, start again. If you do the curve wrong you can of course edit it later, we'll go through that in a minute, but at this stage you should be aiming to get these as perfect as possible without editing them because that's the way you train to be good with this tool. This was almost perfect apart from that kink there, so I'm um, going to delete the path and I'm going to start over again. I think my control handles were too long near that curve, that's why it made a kink. So, I'll try again. Now that's a long control handle. You see it creates a problem. I'm going to start again there. So there's a clue as to what goes wrong when you're drawing these. It's the, the length of the control handles has to be appropriate for the curve. This looks better. Good enough. If you can practice to the point where you can draw curves as good as that, then you, you're in control of this tool. This is also quite good. but a little kink at the end there spoiled it. So I'm going to start again. Drawing around shapes like this is something you can really only learn by doing it. You have to keep practicing it and you have to keep starting over if it goes wrong and trying to figure out why did it go wrong last time. One tip I can give you at this stage is to try to use as few anchor points as possible because the fewer anchor points you use, the smoother your curves will be. 
if you have too many anchor points then you'll end up with your curve looking very jagged and that will do it's not perfect but the curves are good and they're almost spot on with some minor adjustments I can make that perfect and that's what we're going to do next there's three ways you can uh, change curves on shapes like this and the first way is just to move the anchor points and to do that you take the direct selection tool that's the white arrow you click on the path and then you click on the anchor point that you want to move and you just move it so that's the first thing you should do are the anchor points in the right position do you need to move them a little bit for example this one I can move a little bit this one I can move a little bit and now it looks a lot better and all I've done is move the anchor points okay still not perfect so the next step after you've moved the anchor points is to move the control handles to change the amount of curvature and the direction of curvature so going back to this one again I'm going to move those control handles in a little bit there that one out a little bit that one in this one on the bottom that one needs to come out a bit to increase the curvature there much better just a few minor adjustments this one needs to come in and that one needs to go out if I rotate the handle like this I can control the direction of the curvature as well and usually you do both those things at the same time direction and amount of curvature just by fiddling around with the control handle a little bit see that one needs to go in and there that's pretty near perfect now and this one few minor adjustments here make that curved a bit more and that one a bit more curved change the angles a bit almost spot on